Hi, and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. And welcome to Spooky Witch Kettle. Drift layout in Bitternake, Latvia. I was here yesterday in real life, was filming a drift event here. Made a video of it, you can see it in my YouTube channel. Just go to video section and it's the one video before this one. And uh, today I wanted to try it myself a bit to see how it goes. We got an uh, M2 on our hands, F22, uh, Eurofighter like body kit and VDC, I guess, uh, drift structure. But yeah, this body kit comes from HGK. Yesterday, Christoph Busch was also driving. He was driving an uh, E90, I guess, is is the <laughs> exact model name of. Uh, the 3 series that he was driving also with HGK setup but yeah this is the F22 this is like uh, the 2 series 2 series not 3 series it looks good I think I like how it looks it's a bit dark color I chose dark purple maybe I should have chosen something a bit lighter but uh, yeah this is exactly where they started and I have driven this layout only one time one time I tried that it's like kind of same but uh, it, it's a bit surreal too. Let's drive through it real quick before before drifting. Uh, it's a bit surreal that I'm driving it now and yesterday I was standing behind the fence and filming it. It's, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. But yeah, all, all, all of these mountains on the right side there were with spectators and cars were driving up and down these hills sideways and uh, yeah, this is the second to last corner here. And I, I was also standing on this building on the roof. It's kind of cool that they have the same building here also in the game. Yeah, this is the finish line. So this was the layout. Let's just restart and try to drive it in uh, first person. Maybe let's do quick warm up. Just... Okay. Not that much space here. Let's go to the other side. Maybe we can do some donuts. Now let's get on with it. Um, let's start from the right side, I guess. I don't know. Three, two, one, go. I have no idea how to drive this track. Bear with me while I try to understand it. I thought my webcam froze, but no, it's still up. Oh, it did froze. My <laughs> foot cam froze. <laughs> no, <laughs> all my technical difficulties. Well, it is what it is. No foot cam. Let's drive again. Maybe I'm driving autopilot. <laughs> There's no proof. Actually, like you can see the pedals also on the top of the screen, but yeah, it's quite small, small indicator of the pedals. So, let's try from the other side. Cool glasses. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's try... How do we do this? We need to kinda, I guess, have a wider angle, that way we're not going that fast. I think I initiated it. That corner too late. Oh, I need to use the brakes definitely there. I think so at least. Let's try again. Okay. Let's get it. Was a handbrake. 
little bit better, a little bit better. Stall the slide using the brake of it. Oh my god, this car is going fast. <laughs> I'm leaning, <laughs> leaning the same direction where the car is going. This was a bit better. Yeah, they drove here uh, and then they stopped here and then the winner was declared he here. I came here also to fil film a bit. To fil film some close-ups of the eyes through the helmets. So, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's try one time the opposite way. Maybe second gear? No, second gear is a bit... Not enough. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> well, luckily we are in sim racing and we don't have to spend two weeks repairing the car. Or even more. But I would like to try try to drift uh, some some real drift car in my life at least once. But first, I I, I need to get get a bit better and more consistent driving driving in the sim. Yeah, there's a cool video where uh, uh, a sim drifter I don't know exactly who he is, but I guess he was winning some championships in sim drifting that uh, Piotr Vicek gave him his competition car and they just started to tandem like after a few minutes that uh, like uh, it uh, translates over quite nicely but yeah I'm still not there I'm still learning but yeah this Aceto Corsa seems to be the best place to to learn uh, real drifting because the physics are quite quite good for that so let's try to get a clean run in maybe we can watch it in the replay so third or second gear I guess third we have enough power for third still too fast but Seem seemed a bit better, but yeah, still too fast. Maybe let's just go. Yeah, I was going kind of slow. It's okay, it's okay, we're learning here. Trying to fill the car. Okay. Felt, felt a bit better. Let's see if we can translate that. I need to be sm smoother with my inputs, but yeah, I'm still trying to understand this. This felt good actually, the end. Okay, okay. Feeling how I have a good feeling about this. I think we will get this before then. Maybe let's start by stopping to make it a bit more real realistic. I think we need to decrease our third gear also, honestly. Uh, going too late here. I have to remember that I need to slow down on the top of that hill. Okay. Let's uh, decrease the, the third gear real quick. Oh, mm, my escape button is not working. Uh, okay, now it should be working. Uh, okay, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, now it's working. Back to pits. Uh, what did I want to do? 
I decreased the fuel also a little bit. Let's cheat. Have six liters or even less. Let's go three liters. Two liters. Why not? Tires seemed okay, but what what do I know really? But let's decrease the target area. Yeah. Let's go 186. Good. Should be better now. Should be more controllable. Do we clip this inside? I think we should clip it. We're not we're not going close enough to this inside. I think that's the pl place where you do clip it, because there was one one part of the track where you don't like go close to the inside. But I think that was um, that was afterwards. Pretty sure about that. That was afterwards. So I need to clip that. This is where you don't clip it, where I clipped it, okay. Well, something, okay, we're 11 minutes in, <laughs> it's time to get a good run in, let's try. I have a decent run at least. clipped it but I messed up my trajectory uh, completely all it is what it is maybe we won't get it. let's have a couple of more tries and then end the video there you need to practice you need to practice a layout you need to practice a car you <laughs> it's hard to just jump in the car and and uh, get it right well I guess if you if you're if you're a good better driver than me then maybe you can do that but for me, I still need to like practice, understand the lay layout, understand where to brake, where not to brake, and then I can kind of smooth it down and get it right. But yeah, let's let's give it a couple of more tries. So, three, two, one. Used a bit too much brake and yeah, completely lost it there. But it was promising, the first corners were promising. I think a little bit less brake and, and I don't need the handbrake there at all, I think. I hope so at least. Just using the brake too. Spot. Okay. This will be the one. I feel it. Easy. Go third gear. Click it in. Commit. Commit. Get the speed up. Get the speed up. We need the speed, we need the speed. Transition. Not bad, not bad, I liked it. Let's see, maybe we can watch it in replay. I think this was the, our best run. What's that? 
got some kind of rich cattle special. Oh, it has some nice camera angles also. Yeah, the transitions are not as aggressive and not, not, not as cool, like, but at least I made it through the track. <laughs> yeah, it went too wide there. What have? Oh, that was not, not the last run. I thought it was the last run. This was probably the last run. Let's watch. Let's hope this is better. That was actually seemed pretty okay, but the last round seemed much better, yeah. Yeah, wider line here. Initiation wider. Didn't quite stay on the outside there, but I don't know if you can even stay there on the outside. But nice transition. A little bit more more in the borders of the track on the exit also. So yeah. Um, maybe we can watch it from third perspective. I'm kind of interested to see how it looked. Uh, let's watch it from third perspective. Yeah, bit, bit, bit. Uh, could have had better lines. Probably could have gone closer to there also. This was okay, I guess, decent. And this was also pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So, this was Witch Kettle. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it definitely. And not only riding it today here on the sim, but also yesterday filming it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, the first when I arrived there it seemed like some kind of I don't know magical place this mountain and the people on the mountain like st randomly like uh, uh, located without any like uh, stands for, for the people they're just randomly like they chose their own spot where they want to uh, stay on the mountain and look at the track and yeah it was surreal first time I was there and seemed a bit yeah surreal like from movies or something like that and I think the video turned out also pretty okay uh, it was first time uh, that I used uh, a camera uh, I bought a used uh, bridge camera uh, it has like a small sensor but r really big zoom and also the lens is stabilized and it prom performed pretty good actually I was quite uh, quite happy with it uh, there's definitely potential in it. I think if I uh, practice uh, shooting with it a bit more, then I could can get some nice nice uh, frames from it. And yeah, it's kind of cool that you can get some emotions from the people also from from far distance, not not having to stick uh, the camera in their face. Uh, but yeah, just zooming in. So yeah, was uh, fun. And thank you very much for watching and wishing you a good day. Ubu signing out. Peace. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> still have this. Uh, it's Riga Baby uh, bracelet. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Uh, from yesterday. Okay. Bye for now. Ciao.